In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of splenius muscles. There are two splenius muscles. This is splenius capitis. Splenius capitis. And this one is splenius services. Splenius services. This is very important muscle for stiff neck, neck pain, and headache. I am going to explain origin and insertion of splenius capitis first. Then, in next part, I'm going to explain attachment of splenius services. Okay, origin of splenius capitis is about this area. This is spinal process of C4 through T3. Spinal process of C4 through T3. This number is different depends on anatomy books. Maybe some books might say it's from C3, maybe through T4 or T5. It's different, it depends on anatomy book. I quote this number from the one anatomy book that is theme. This is very good anatomy book. Okay, this number is from this anatomy book. Okay, where is insertion? Insertion is on head. That is why this is splenius capitis, right? Capitis means head. It attaches on about occiput. This is superior nuchal line. Superior nuchal line. Plus, it attaches to here. This is very important landmark. This is mastoid process. Mastoid. process. I am going to show you closer view of insertion later. Okay, so origin is spinal process of C4 through T3. Insertion, superior nuchal line, and mastoid process. Now let's look at origin and insertion of splenius services. This is splenius services. Origin is this part. This is spinal process of T3 through T6. Spinal process of T3 through T6. Again, this number is different, it depends on anatomy book. This is from theme, okay? This is origin. Insertion is hard to see, you don't see it about here. This is transverse process of C1 through C2. Transverse process of C1 through C2. This area is important as well. Now, let's look at closer view of insertion. Okay, this is closer view. This one is splenius capitis capitis this is splenius services services okay do you remember insertion of splenius capitis it is superior nuchal line and mastoid process that means when this muscle gets tight that can pull occiput and mastoid process. This area is important for tight neck, tight head, and headache. There are various reasons that this area is important for neck pain and headache because there is many nervous tissues and because there is important membrane inside of cranium and this area is close to that important 
membrane, there are other various important reasons. Anyhow, splenius capitis attaches on this area. Do you remember? Superior nuclear line and mastoid process. There is one another muscle that attached to close to splenius capitis. This yellow muscle attaches to superior nuclear line and mastoid process. What is this muscle? This is sternocleid mastoid. Sternocleid mastoid. This muscle runs like this way. Splenius capitis runs this way. So when these muscles get tight simultaneously, sternocleid mastoid pulls head this way. Splenius capitis pulls head this way even though they attach on same place. Maybe there is lot of stress around mastoid process and occiput. That is why. I think these two muscle relationship is very important for neck and head mechanics. Now let's look at insertion of splenius services carefully. This is splenius services. Do you remember it attaches on transverse process of C1 and C2. This area is also important for neck pain and headache because this area, upper cervical area, is also busy area. There are many muscles, there are many nervous tissues, there are many important arteries. Anyhow, this is important place. Splenius services attaches on such important place. You know, splenius muscles are not very famous muscles. If you think about neck pain muscle, headache muscle. Maybe many people think about trapezius. Yes, that is important muscle. But these two muscles are equally important like other big muscles. Okay, this is freaking important muscle. Now let me explain function of splenius muscles. I came back to first picture. There are of course splenius capitis and splenius services on left side. What happens when both sides contract? That brings neck and head extension. Extension. When these muscles get tight, it can create stiff neck and stiff head. I think this is important muscle like other um, back muscles like erector spinae and semispinalis. When this muscle is stiff, people oftentimes complain stiff neck. Not always, but it's very common tendency. Extension. What happens when one side of these muscles contract? That brings neck to side bed okay bring neck this way then one more movement when splenius muscles contract this way that makes some kind of rotational movement it is ipsilateral rotation ipsilateral rotation what does ipsilateral means okay this is right side of muscle. Okay, right side. When right side muscle contracts, that brings neck to right side. That is same direction. This is ipsilateral. If this is left side, it's gonna be contralateral. Ipsilateral means same direction. Function of these muscles. Extension for bilateral contraction. Side bend and ipsilateral rotation for one side contraction. Okay, in this video I explained basic anatomy of splenius capitis and splenius services. I explained their origin, insertion and
function. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.